Welcome back everybody to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about the Xbox Series S where um, should you run it in 4K or let your Xbox upscale 4K or your TV upscale 4K or is it better to run 1080p natively on your Xbox Series S? Now, this video really pertains to people that have 4K TVs that cannot do 4K at 120, but have 4K TVs such as my Sony X950G, which can do 1080p at 120 hertz. So for those who have a TV that can do 120 hertz, but only at 1080p or 1440p, this is who it pertains to and why I believe that in that case, if you run the Xbox Series S, it's better to run at 1080p natively versus upscaling it to 4K. Now, the reason why you want to run, um, you, it's not like it's not that you want to run 1080p. It's just that in order to get that frames per second, you got to run to run 120 hertz. You have to reduce your resolution. Now, keep in mind that by default, of course, if you run the best resolution is native 4K at 120 hertz if, if your TV is capable of doing it. But not all TVs that I have can do it. So if I have a TV such as my Sony 9, X950G that can only do 1080p at 120 hertz, I preferably prefer, and that's our preference, I preferably prefer to run it at 1080p at um, natively than trying to have my Xbox Series S convert up convert to 4K. Now, excuse me for that. And I could not really find any articles that really explains how 4K upscaling work because the real issue here, obviously, we know that your TV will always up, try to upscale anything to a 4K to a near 4K content, but the but the the, the real question is that when I'm running uh, a game like the game console of the Xbox Series S, when I'm running a game in 1080p, does your TV actually still upconvert that 1080p to 4K or does it not? And in this video, the reason why I came to the conclusion that it it doesn't um, if you're running 1080p at 120 on the Xbox Series S I believe it doesn't and I'll show, I'll show you why in a minute but if you guys know for a fact that if you're running 1080p or whatever resolution you're running whatever you're setting on your console to run the resolution if you guys know for a fact that your TV is going to upconvert it no matter what, um, whatever resolution you uh, the, the source has, please comment below because I couldn't find any article. So that's why I'm kind of making this video to find out for sure what's really going on. But either way, I like the look of 1080p at 120. Now, of course, 4K natively is better, but. I'd rather have native 2K to do 120 versus upscaling to 4K on an Xbox Series S. Now, in the video I'm gonna show you guys is on the Xbox Series S, I have it's the settings at 120, 120 hertz at 1080p. But when I go watch, and I uncheck the 4K, I don't allow 4K on the Xbox Series S, now on Netflix, when I go to watch a movie, it's gonna it's gonna be in 4K, right? So, but I but my Netflix is a, is a 1080p Netflix, and I set my Xbox Series S console to run only 1080p because I don't allow the 4K. Now when I watch when I'm watching a Netflix movie, it's actually converting the 1080p into 4k and i show that on the display that i'm running netflix in 1080p upscale to 4k 
I believe that's what's going on because that's what the displays say. Now, when I go ahead and play uh, like Gears of War, a video game, it stays in 1080p. So I'm pretty sure it's native 1080p when I'm playing that video game, like Gears of War here. And it's not taking that 1080p and then up convert it to 4K because if I'm if the TV is actually com up converting my 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 Gears of War here that as you can see it's in 1080p if it's actually up converting it to 4K I'm assuming that when I hit the display button on the TV it's gonna show that it's in t you know 38 20 or whatever it is, it's going to say 4K, right? Just like when I watch Netflix, I know that I'm not running the, I'm not paying, I don't, I don't pay for 4K Netflix. I pay for 2K, I pay, I pay for 2K or 1080p Netflix. And on top of that, on the Xbox Series S, I don't allow 4K. So when I'm watching on Netflix on this console, it's saying that it's 38, 20 or whatever it is. It's, gonna, it's pretty much saying 2160 or 4K. So I know that it's not true 4K. It's I'm assuming that it's taking my 2K or my 1080p content and up converted to the nearest 4K content when I'm watching it. Now, if you guys know anything more than what I'm saying, please comment below. And then when I go ahead and play Gears of War, which is what which is at 1080p, when I'm playing this game, it's on display. It's telling me it's 1080p at 120 hertz or 1080p natively and i don't think that the tvs it's up converting it to 4k that being said the whole the whole point is that anything that's native to me it's gonna be a lot better than up upscaling or up converting so that's why i made a video previously maybe i'll leave the link in below but um, some people tell me that no matter what's what display or no matter if I'm running like 1080p, it doesn't matter because it's, they say that your TV is going to up convert it. I could not find an article that says that. And if you guys know more, please comment below. So that's why I say that anything native it's going to be better than upscaling. So if you're, of course, if you're, if you can do 4K natively, well, that's going to be better, right? But in, in, in some, in my case, some of my TVs, such as the um, Samsung or the Sony X950G, I can't do 4K at 120. I can only do native 1080p at 120 hertz. So I'd rather do native and in my case, native means I have to do 1080p. And I prefer native no matter what over upscaling. So that's why I'm putting this out there. If you guys know anything more, please comment below. Um, and let's, let's as a community, get to the bottom of things. Um, whether it be like, is it really 1080p upscaling to 4K? And how do we actually know that it's upscaling the 1080p? Or whatnot. So that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. Thanks guys for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hooded Dragons out.